hello techies in this session we will learn how to add a row to the data table by using insert row into data table which is available under data table variable actions i will explain you three ways to insert the data into the data table by using insert row into the data table in this session all right now as a first way i will explain you how to add a row to the data table which is already created by using create new data table by using insert row into data table action let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace after create new data table action now by using this insert row into data table action i can insert a row at the end of the data table or a specific index in the data table all right now we'll see the parameters over here as a first parameter we are having a data table what is the data table we need to select which we have created by using create new data table action so in our create new data table we are having product data table as a flow variable or the output and then i'm going to use the same data table over here so i'm going to select product data table now i'm going to add a new row to this data table so you can see over here into location there are two ways that we have one is before row index or end of the data table if i'm going to select end of the data table you are going to add a row at the end of the data table let us assume i'm having two rows in my product data table if i'm going to select end of the data table i'm going to get it as third row over here in my product data table all right now if i'm going to select before row index let us assume if i want to add a row at the index of 0 or 1 and so on so in that case i'm going to give the row index over here and then i'm going to add a new values over here now to make you understand i'm going to select end of the data table and then i'm going to give the new values over here i'm not going to give any variable over here right now i'm going to use the new values directly i'm going to give percentage and inside the percentage i'm going to give it as square brackets and then in my product data table i am having five columns so that i need to give five columns over here with values so i'm going to give the values over here as sony is my first value that is product name another one product code i'm going to give it as 007 third column value i'm going to give it as price so that i'm going to give the price over here as 12000 availability i'm going to say yes and then for the sony i'm going to give it as a tv okay this is the values which i have added for the product data table at the end of the data table as a row all right let me click on save now i'm going to disable all these 5 6 and 7 actions where i don't required right now i'm going to disable these actions now if you observe i'm having a create new data table i'm going to create a new data table with the product data table if you open this one and I, if you are going to click on edit right now i'm having pro five columns over here and three rows and then at the end of this data table i'm going to add one more row that will comes as three over here and with sony and 007 price is 12000 and availability is yes and the description is tv this we need to add it by using insert row into data table action all right now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started as a first step it has created product data table and as a second step it has added a row at the end of the data table by using insert row into data table now the output will be stored inside the product data table flow variable now if you see over here in my flow variables i am having product data table with four rows and five columns let's double click on that now if you see the output over here the product data table which is type is data table over here now previously i had three rows with the product name dell laptop realme and sony headphones right we have added one more row with the 
product name as Sony and product code is 007 and price is 12,000. Availability is yes and the description is TV. All right, let me click on close. This is one of the way where we are going to add a row to the data table by using insert row into data table action. Now I'm going to edit it once again, this insert row into data table action. Let's double click on that. Now we have given into location as end of the data table. Now let assume I want to add it by using before row index. Let assume I want to give the row index over here as one means I'm having starts row index with 0, 1, 2, and so on, right? I want to add the new row at the row index of 1. So that what will happen, this new row will be inserted at index 1, all right? Let me click on save. Now, once again, let's run the flow to see the output for before index. Flow execution started, and it has been ended successfully also. Now, if you see, I am having product data tables flow variable. Let's double click on that. Now, if you see, I am having four rows itself, but the new row has been inserted at the index of one over here. There you can see I am having Sony 007, price is 12,000 available to yes, and description is TV. All right. This is how we are going to insert a row to the data table by using insert row into the data table variable action. Now, as a second way, I'm going to add a new row to the data table by using set variable action. Now, if you observe in our previous session, we have created a new data table with the name of V products by using set variable action. And we have inserted five columns and two rows over there by using this V products. Now I want to add one more row for this variable. How can I go ahead and do that? I'm going to use one more action that is set variable action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace after set variable. Now I'm going to set the variable as V products only because the new row which we are going to add to the data table is the V products, right? So I'm going to select the variable over here that is V products. And then I'm going to give the values over here. So I need to add a new row to the V products, right? And then after that, I need to save the data to V products only. So that I'm going to select the variable over here as V products. And then I'm going to add plus icon over here to add a new row. And after that, I'm going to give the values over here, which we need to insert into the columns. So I will say, right now as LG and the product code, I'm going to give it as 008. And after that, I'm going to give price 25,000. Availability, yes. I'm, and then finally the description, I'm going to make it as TV. Okay, and then I'm going to close this square bracket. Let me explain you once again over here. For the V products, I'm going to add a new row into the data table with the name of V products. In my V products, I'm already having two rows and five columns. For that, I'm going to add one more row so that V products plus another row, I'm going to add it. And then I'm going to store inside my variable that is V products data table. All right, let me click on save. Now, once again, let's run the flow to see the output, especially for the set variables action. So in my set variables action, I'm having V products is the flow variable as an output, right? Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. There you can see as a first step, we have created a new data table with the name of V products. There you can see I'm having V products. Previously, I had only two rows. There you can see I'm having product name, product code, price, availability, and description are the columns and the remaining two rows I have inserted at the step four. And then at the step five, I have added a new row by using set variable action. Let me double click on the V products data table. There you can see I'm having a new row over here as LG product code 008 and the price is 25,000 availability is S and the description is TV. All right. There, if you observe, 
I don't have any kind of indexing. We are directly going and adding a new row to the data table whenever you are going to use set variable. All right. Now, as a third way, I need to add a new row to the V products which we have created by using set variable. This is the third way that I'm going to show you. All right. Now, by using insert row into the data table, I can add a new row to the V products data table by using insert row into the data table action. Now I'm going to copy the same action which is available in the step three and then I'm going to paste it after you know set variable that is after fifth action. Now at the third way I need to add a new row to the set variable which is v products data table right now let me double click on the insert row into the data table action i'm going to change the parameters over here what is the parameter previously we have used that is data table but right now our agenda is that i need to add a new row to v products data table all right i'm going to select the variable over here and then i'm going to select v products and then you can see i'm having same parameters I'm having into location and after that row index and new values, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use before row index itself. I'm going to give it as one over here, row index one, and then I'm going to click on save. Now I'm going to disable these two actions that is create new data table and after that insert into data table. All right, let me right click and then I'm going to disable these actions. Now let's run the flow to see the output to insert a new row into the data table by using insert row into the data table for V products, which we have created by using set variable action. All right, let's run the flow. Flow execution started. Now the flow has executed successfully. Now if you see in my V products, that is flow variables, if you double click on that, there you can see a new row has been added for the V products data table at index one. There you can see I'm having Sony 007, 12,000 years, and it is TV. And the remaining rows, if you observe in my set variable, previously I had two rows. At the step five, we have added LG, that is at the index three. And after that, we have added a new row into the data table at index zero, that is Sony 007, All right? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new row at the end of the data table. I'm going to select into location. I'm going to make the changes over here as end of the data table. Now the row will be added at the end of the data table over here. What are the values we have given? It will be added at the end of the data table for the V products data table. All right, let me click on save and let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and a new row has inserted successfully into the data table by using insert row into the data table. Now the flow has executed successfully. Before going to see the output where we need to get it at the last row, we need to add it a new row into the data table. All right. Now let me double click on the view products. There you can see I'm having a new row at the end of the data table. That is Sony 007, 12,000 years and TV. So a new row has been inserted successfully at the end of the data table by using insert row into the data table action. All right. I hope you understand how to add a row to the data table by using insert row into the data table action as part of this tutorial.